Warhammer can get complicated. There's a lot of rules to remember. There's a lot going on. And I've seen people struggle. I even saw a YouTuber, Angry Joe. He was trying to get into playing Horus Heresy. He's been playing other Warhammer stuff lately. And uh, just wanted to offer a quick tip to people who are getting into Warhammer. Something that'll really save you a big headache when it comes to Warhammer is to bookmark certain pages with little tabs if you can. Okay, so for the main rule book, personally, I like to do, I have Warlord Traits booked, Deployment Maps, Missions, Psychic Powers, although I don't really use Psychic Powers in Horus Heresy, but it is useful to know still. We got Unit Types, Fortifications, Universal Special Rules. So if I'm wondering, oh, what does uh, Sunder do? I don't know what Sunder does. Oh, that's a universal special rule. Let's grab the universal special rule table, or page rather, uh, or go to S, and there's Sunder. Okay, so I can reroll my armor pens. Now, obviously, I, I remember that one just fine, but if you ever need to look, okay, Shock Pulse, you know, we got Shred, we got whatever. So you can really find you know okay i got fortifications here what does a bunker look like oh imperial bunker boom there it is right oh i need to look at the warlord traits let's go to the warlord traits here and they actually give you here's the warlord traits they do give you as well as part of the book here's a bookmark use it definitely i have uh, the deep strike assault rules bookmarked from the last video so that helps a lot with that it is a big, thick tome. There's definitely a lot going on, but you know, anyone who's new who doesn't, who isn't familiar, don't let that scare you, because a lot of this is just lore. It's about you know the background of Warhammer. There's some Da Vinci going on here. Oh, here's a timeline. Like, look at that, and we're like halfway through. The rules don't really even start until here, page 146 out of a 300-ish page book. So don't be intimidated. I mean, that is a lot of rules, but we'll, you know, you learn bit at a time. Start small. When it comes to your Libra Astartes, in this case, same with the Libra, Heres uh, Libra Hereticus, okay, I have HQs, Elites. I have Contemptor Dreads because those tend to get used a lot in games. It's great to be able to pull that up really fast. We got troops, so if I need my basic tactical squad, boom, right there. Despoiler squad. There's not a lot of troops either, so it's easy to flip through. Assault squad, breacher squad. If I need to see land raiders, I have land raiders book. So units that you use a lot of or are common in your meta, you can bookmark those specific ones. And then, boom, now I have the land raiders here. We got the Spartan here. Okay, Lords of War. So all the unit types... Are bookmarked. I even have um, transports. So I need to see the Legion Rhino. There it is. Dreadnought Drop Pod. Legion Drop Pod. Termite Assault Drill. Easy. There it is. And then when it comes to your specific Legion that you're playing, you can bookmark that. So I, I have Imperial Fists. I bookmark the Imperial Fist page. Boom. Here it is. I even have Rogel Dorn bookmarked as his own entry, although I haven't used him much this edition, but I did bookmark him. There he is, Rogel Dorn. So I can easily flip to that. No problem at all. And then at the bottom here, there's a couple of other entries. We've got Rights of War. So if I want to look at any Rights of War rules, here they are. Consularis. So those are Centurion Consuls rules. So we got Master Signals. Esoteris, Chaplain, USRs. Now, one thing that is very confusing about this edition is some Universal Special Rules are in the main book and some are in the Army book. Kind of annoying. Games Workshop, honestly, they do a good job, but there's sometimes I just, I don't understand why they do certain things the way they do. They have a bunch of stuff in here. Like, uh, there's a rule in here called... Uh, what is it called? Inexorable. Okay. 
Unit that contains only models with this special rule, ignore modifiers to leadership tests when making morale check or pinning test, except those caused by fear. So it ignores modifiers to morale checks. And then you go in the main rule book here. And you want, let's see if we can find stubborn real quick since we're flipping through rules. And I'm trying to prove how fast this works. Here's stubborn. A unit contains at least one model with a special rule, ignore... They ignore negative modifiers for morale and pinning checks. So it's almost the an identical rule, but you have one version of it in this book and a different version of it in that book. I mean, Games Workshop, why can't why do you gotta do this? Like make it make it one rule for goodness sakes. So I don't know, it's a bit silly. But anyway, there's some USRs in here. We got reach. I don't know why this is not in the main book. That doesn't make any sense. Uh I don't know. Some stuff is a bit weird. I understand orbital assault vehicle because that's more to do with like drop pods, which is an Astartes thing specifically. But there's some stuff in here that should definitely be just in the main rule book. I don't, I don't understand it all the time. Okay, so then we have weapon stats. So page 128, we've got weapon stats. So if I want to look up a weapon, here they all are. I can look them up real fast. I want to look up war gear rules. Boom. Oh, uh, cyber familiar. What does that do? Okay, let's go find, uh, okay, the melta cutter, you know, like they're all in here. And then that's it. And then I have my legion bookmarked so I can easily flip to my Imperial Fist Legion. Now, I don't actually own the Liber Hereticus for my world eaters. I just use this book. And I found a PDF and I just printed the World Eaters rules as a separate set of sheet of paper. So I just carry that around with me separately so I can play them. Because it because these this book, Liber Astartes, and the Liber Hereticus are almost identical. It's just the legions at the back that are different. So it's not worth buying it twice if you do have both a loyalist and a traitor army. Anyway, that's a quick tip for you guys there. Uh, anyone who might be new getting into Horus Heresy, bookmark your pages. It saves me so much time when I'm playing. I can't even express how useful it is.